Seeing women who code is still a rare sight these days. We have to realize that before girls are even double digits, they are internalizing these cultural touchstones about what a computer scientist looks like and does. And these end up becoming internalized beliefs that resonate with them throughout their entire lives. To help close the apparent gender gap in technology, Reshma Sajani created Girls Who Code in 2012. Dr. Tarika Barrett joined the team in 2016. She would ask herself, where are the girls? She'd go from classroom to classroom and not see any girls learning computer science. And she knew that she had to step up and essentially launch Girls Who Code and build a movement. From small beginnings, the program has expanded to include 500,000 women and non-binary students from all over the world using different computer science programs. And we are leading the movement to inspire, educate, and equip students who identify as girls or non-binary with the computing skills to take on 21st century opportunities. We designed it to be primarily used on mobile because... It's not just teaching girls computer science, and advancing equity in the workplace, which we you know, know deeply important and central to everything we do, it's building that movement where we are you know, fighting to change a culture that tells our girls and our young women that they don't belong in tech. And we have to show them that they deserve a seat at the table. You deserve to be everything that you want to be. Ever since I signed up for Girls Who Code that summer in 2016, my life changed. Devika Chipokati is a Girls Who Code alumni and now mentor who's currently a software engineer at Disney for Marvel. I would not be here today if it was not for Girls Who Code. I think Girls Who Code is really good at really understanding collaboration and what it means to uplift others. And in every single pillar of my life through Girls Who Code, I have felt that and I felt welcomed. And that's what makes Girls Who Code so, so important because representation matters. Girls Who Code has now ventured into the gaming world by creating Girls Who Code Girls, where girls and non-binary students can create their own gaming avatars. But when you think about our girls, our girls of color, they did not see themselves reflected in the games that they were frankly expert at or playing every day. It's again, getting those images out in front of our young people so that they recognize and say, wait a second, I can code. I belong in tech. Girls Who Code leads a movement toward a more inclusive, empowering tech world. You can use tech to change your community and change the world and actually do good. Girls Who Code! Girls Who Code! Girls Who Code!